Sunday, June 3rd, and I am doing a video blog entry uh, without Tori, who is currently whoop, eating her lunch, as you can see back there. Charlie's running around madly making lunch for all of us, and I'm just doing part of it now. I'll do more with Tori later. Um, the lighting looks a little unnatural it's because it's completely cloudy here, and I've devised a very rickety and fire-prone uh, lighting situation so that it, um, you can see me at all. But I thought since you guys couldn't be at Tori's birthday party yesterday that I would do a little show and tell with what, uh, some of her uh, things that she got. This, which says birthday princess, is the hat that we made her wear. We have pictures, of course. They will, you will see them uh, sometime this week. We asked people to not give her gifts, but instead to give her, to do a donation to the Preeclampsia Foundation in honor of the boys, um, because we like to have any excuse, whatever we can find to, uh, get money to them, but we did ask if people had to give gifts, to give uh, books and clothes. So we got opposites, uh, one, two, three, when you're hungry and you know it. I'm sorry, when you're happy and you know it. I guess I'm thinking that lunch. Chicka Chicka ABC, the uh, older version of Guess How Much I Love You. We have the board book, but this has an animated DVD, which is awesome. Uh, yes, these are all yours. We got Pat a Cake Nursery Rhymes and from her Aunt Catherine uh, clothes. Adorable. Adorable. Little jean skirt. Adorable, going very fast. All important uh, capris. Oh, this little sweater goes with that first dress. Very cute. And of course, I cannot wait to put her in this. I think it's over. Godmother Sarah gave us this. It's a book featuring photos of Tori's first year. Ta da! That would be Charlie at the uh, baby shower. And I don't know if I expressed it properly enough, Sarah, but this is the most beautiful gift. I mean, look at the baby. <sighs> it was really awesome. And it's funny because she saved photos through the whole year that I hadn't seen. There's my mom with Tori. Um, so that she could put them in this book and surprise me. And uh, it's pretty awesome. Anyway. I uh, truly love it and cherish it and wish uh, all of us had books like this of us as children. Um, so, there she is getting all grown up. Anyway, it's a lovely gift. Thank you, Sarah. Um, last but not least, I thought I would uh, share some photos of me and Charlie as babies because everybody keeps saying how much she looks like Charlie, which she does, but she looks more like I did as a baby. And here's proof. Yes, that is me. Oh. <laughs> that is me as a baby. And it's harder to see these because they're so teeny. But this, there's Charlie and his dad. There's Charlie in the pram. Oh, there's Charlie on the video. Wave, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> there's Charlie in a pram that many, many people would kill to have today. This one's a little bigger. Yay, baby Charlie smiling. How cute is he? And look at this cool thing. They don't make this anymore either. It's like a low chair instead of a high chair with like a play area. And this is the probably the best one. Oh, you can see almost good. Look at those eyes. Crazy blue. Anyway, that ends show and, the show and tell portion. I'm going to stop this briefly and go ahead and eat my lunch. Um, I guess the other show and tells, woo, you can see the tattoos. Woo. Um, Charlie claims I have a cot today. Isn't that sweet of him? And uh, anyway, I'm going to eat my lunch, and then I'll come back with Tori, and we'll chat a little bit about what the birthday party was like. Wait, what's up, Tori? You tell him. Can you wave, Tori? Wave. 
Where's my hand? There it is. Wave. Nope, she's too busy eating lunch. Okay, see you guys in a minute. Yeah. Okay, we're back. Here is Tori wearing one of the outfits I showed you before because <laughs> she, uh, cause I went to church this morning. She hadn't had her, gotten out of her pajamas yet after lunch there. Say hi. As you can see, Tori had another first this week. Her very first haircut. My uh, good friend Danielle, who's a brilliant hairdresser, um, managed to cut her hair without making it look like it had been cut too much, so I think it looks really cute. And I forgot to show off the Hello Kitty doll huh? that her Uncle Mark gave, which as you can see, she likes quite a bit. <laughs> um, her party was wonderful yesterday and stressful and hot. Um, next year, promise me that you'll all remind me not to be insane and not to go so overboard because we spent way too much money. Are you going to wave, Tori? Wave. And um, we have literally 50 hamburgers left and 400 hot dogs or something. And we are um, probably going to use them up at church or something because we don't know what else to do. Um, so it was crazy and exhausting. And it really was, it was like 95 degrees out and... Hi, there she is, pointing at herself. And uh, God bless my good friend Jim, who was the grill master with uh, help and support from Ari and from Jim's boyfriend Josh. Uh, Jim was able to cook all of the hamburgers and hot dogs for everybody without uh, the benefit of tools because in all my careful planning and packing, I forgot to bring a spatula. Yeah. So he used a piece of a cardboard box to flip burgers, and he managed to do it. So God bless you, Jim. Thank you. And um, I think that's going to wrap it up for today because this is already really, really long. Oh, ow. And Tori has like, you're right. Yeah, that was not planned. Um, <laughs> have a great Sunday, everybody. And I will talk to you next week. Bye. Tori, say bye. Bye. <laughs>